magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. Somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity, you get three as a magic number. Hello, welcome to the first episode of What Happened to BBC Three. I'm Cody Lowe, the Black and White Guy, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at BBC Three's first name in well, 1998. So, let's go on with it. As you can see, the BBC had had a rebound recently. I've actually heard on the news that they were going to this new, to the old, to the new. And this, this, this thing happened. They even did it to other channels too, such as BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, and BBC Four. Especially after BBC News, and this was ended. See. The BBC One finally rebranded their logo for good, and this is what happened. She happened. And same thing that goes for BBC Two and Four. They found we were bound to get the rebrand going. I suppose it isn't that bad, but when it has an actual rebrand, the BBC Two was nearly got a rebrand, and they officially had. So the, BBC, so the BBC has got no idea but to change their previous logo to the new one. And now we have the new ones. In the future they will officially have BBC Free back. But I like that, let's go on to what was before BBC Free. Over the years, the digital channels were made partly due to Prime had launched in 1985 a specific block of programming starting in 1990. So and then in 1998, BBC Choice launched over the internet. So that's what we have today. So today we're going to be taking a look at the BBC Twice Islands from 1998 all the way to 2002. So let's do it. Strictly on a need to know basis, this is BBC Choice. Five pints of curry in a club usually does it for me, but BBC Choice discovers a couple of different ways of looking for love now in real lives. OK, all I have to say now on BBC Choice is turn it up loud. That Robbie interview is going to be great. Now on BBC Choice, live, direct, always on the button, alert and wide awake, backstage with Julia Bradbury. <laughs> Patrick Kilty's almost live now. Well, not as almost live as he was on BBC One last Friday. This is BBC Choice, after all. This is probably one of the most visual items I've ever seen in my entire life. You may have noticed that these items involve around a pattern of three. So they are even separate objects to play three objects, including heart, mice, five pints of fan, and even punches. 
There was even a trumpet variant, but <laughs> thankfully this is found, and I have to give Sarah to it. To be honest, I actually find these items quite interesting, especially, especially when it had the actual punch sequence, which is very funny. I quite like how these developers came out together. I quite even like that kind of fact. Couldn't officially have BBC Three in the government, but they even had these these channels to rule on it, and that includes. BBC Four, two children's channels, of course, and even three digital radio stations. I know this is because it did have, it hadn't been for lots of time, but this was in 2002. Anyways, let's carry on with our own BBC Toy Silence. This is BBC Choice. Drama, bad language and sexual matters now in the party. This is BBC Choice. Zoe Ball's story so far is here in 15 minutes. That's after plenty of hot links. This is Refreshing TV on BBC Choice. Now it's time for the very stern Anne Robinson, who'll be grilling the weakest link. This is one of the great idols, I can even bother for it in that place. Not only if you get one of the most visuals you can actually see, not that individual, probably one of the most cheapest, latest, popular items that you can actually see from. The original item for itself just it seemed really cool when the part just has one one generation have its own colour. But I'm sure most of you will remember that. Especially when it did have have lots of things to, that you can offer. So in 2000, in 2001, the, a new set style of BBC Toys was unveiled with three energetic cubes. Very few rock stars have anything even resembling a rock shrine after they're gone, but John Lennon's is actually official. Here it is. Now on Choice, they keep referring to her as a pop star's reject, but I say no. I say she's a solo singer. All right. Claire Freeland joins Chris for Liquid. You are watching BBC Choice, and guess what? Size matters, apparently. Good evening, you're watching BBC Choice, and our first stop tonight is Planet Showbiz. Liquid news is almost a problem. Now on BBC Choice, I'll give Christopher Price a few moments to slide elegantly into his chair by slowly saying, this is Liquid News. We're back in the Kazi for the brilliant toilets in half an hour of BBC Choice. But first, a little strong language and much amusement. In so this is definitely a return to four. Wow, these items are really cool, really fun to look at. I like how they both interact with each other, and they also both both and seem aloud. And the other and in other words, they display the information that they can throw So, I think in the weird sense, what to replace these toys, including the channel that's named as BTC3. So, I'm going to take you to see what pictures I collect, pictures I collect, what the cubes they've used, and what sort of things they look like. So as you can see, I tried to collect to see what these cubes would look like, ones that are orange. And it seems like I found into the right size, the ones that look more squishy, look more cheesy. Cheesy, okay, than ever before. So let's find out when BBC Toys reflects these changes in times.
Good evening. Welcome to BBC Choice. And as well as being happy that it's Saturday, you should also be happy because we've got an I'm Alan Partridge bonanza starting at nine tonight. In half an hour on BBC Choice, it's I'm Alan Partridge. And right now on BBC Choice, it's I'm Alan Partridge. And just in case you couldn't tell, it's I'm Alan Partridge night. And don't forget, you've got one night with Robbie Williams at the album. Day. We've got Robbie Williams performing Ouch. old and new material in half an hour. But first up on Choice, Robbie the Reindeer is having a bad day. 29 members of the public undergo 10 days of physical punishment. In SAS, are you tough enough in half an hour? But first, we're swapping life forces now. Ed Stone is dead. Good evening. Welcome to BBC Choice, but it's not for long because BBC Three's here tomorrow. This is quite a bold move by the BBC. These islands, I think, overall are quite fun actually, but they're also really stackable and it takes a lot of time to basically But the BBC really wants to give BBC to a place BBC toys with BBC play as soon as possible. That's seems like the Christmas stereotypes and stuff, but. Know how you see site builders and site setters. And I also like, quite like the countdown sequence. Not to mention that they officially know that BBC3 was just trying to take over that. So, what officially happened? So I'm gonna stop right there. When I saw this banner, I see the f words where the T H R E E inside it spelling out the words free and it was ready to go on their blog items after they finished making that and it seems to be really popular so in February of 2003 BBC Choice was gone and was replaced with BBC Three. <laughs> that's it but also I know that BBC Choice might not be that well remembered nowadays but everyone can still remember BBC Three. And what do you think about the BBC's rebrand? Do you like it? Or you do you not like it? Do you think it was better better when BBC had the original logo? So Tell your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, that's it. I hope you like, comment and subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more. Notification bells for more BBC Three videos. It's me, Kite Never the Black White Guy. See you in the next episode. Bye. You can find us, or rather, you have found us on Satellite Channel 160, Freeview Channel 7. BBC Three.
multiplied backwards from 3 times 10. 30, 27, 24, 21. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 1 is 3 or 4. Now get the pattern once more. 3, 6, 9 12, 15, 18 